And welcome back, and this time Link is too eager to do stuff. It was a horrible, you know, actually let's check out the shield a little bit. Is that kind of like a bird claw? Well, I mean it's a bird claw in the center, and is it like the bird's kind of upside down flying on the top, it's got its little wings, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I never noticed. But anyway, so last time we, we actually got a lot done last time, we ran around the deck of the ship, unlocked some stuff, got a heart piece, which is good. And we got further into here, and we're going to go into here now and see what's going on. I hear two at least. I know it. I was really afraid of him. I think those guys are like the most annoying is because... The... Those look like little doors to the boat. Little escape hatches or something. The reason that those guys are so annoying is just because it's like... When you... Oh, and you take the boat up. I bet you you take the boat up. Like, this unlocks... I want to say this unlocks something. I want to say. I'm not sure, actually. But yeah, the uh, reason those guys are annoying is because... They operate on reading your controller inputs, which means they're reactive enemies. And a lot of times, especially in single player games like Dark Souls and older Zelda titles, you want the... Like the way you play the game is you're the reactive person. and. It kind of sucks because an AI will always have, you know, perfect reflexes and stuff like that. So this, yeah, this goes down. So it's a good thing we opened that shortcut. Yeah, it's like the AI is always going to have perfect reflexes. And in the case of those guys, they read your controller inputs, which makes it incredibly more irritating. <gasps> oh, shit, I should have looked in there a little more. We can get out, but still, I should have looked. And so it's just. It's not fun to fight against because it's like, oh, you know, read my directional input. Granted, they do it if you hold the Wiimote a certain direction for a length of time, it's just going to assume, so you can really bait it. But my Wiimote's a little shaky because it's getting older and all that, so... And sometimes I just feel like they just make hard reads, like, no, oh, I'm going to hit you now. So, I don't know. It's not... Those guys aren't the funnest to fight against with the electricity. Like, the ones without it is fine because you don't really get punished... Like, the punishment is not doing damage if you miss them. Okay, why isn't this open? This is supposed to be open. I guess we missed something. Yeah, like, the guys with the regular swords that don't shock you, it's like, it's fine. Oh, I see. Can we shoot through here? To unlock the, uh... I thought I opened it in the last episode. I don't know why it's not open now. Let's... You know, those were testing to see if we can actually shoot through the floor. Okay. Oh, of course! Of course you give good loot! So what do I have to do... So I feel like that should be open. These are the pistons. That's one of them. It's not open. And I know we can take the shortcut back. So I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not. Like go back and then open the thing and... Maybe I'm supposed to kill the guys. Maybe the guys turn it off. Let's go double check real quick. I remember... In another episode I was saying... It was two episodes ago. I was talking about the key for me not getting irritated when playing competitive games is to have a proper goal in mind. You know, it's like, Hearthstone's an irritating game in many respects, for many reasons. And I guess we opened... I don't think this was here before. 
I guess this unlocks the other side. Huh. This is, a little com this is a little more complex than I thought it was going to be. Oh, now that this is open, do we go and shut the time off? And then come back? I mean, we could try that. We have a lot of arrows. I don't think this... I don't know if this is going to work with the time off. So we're going to have to, like, turn the time off. Go down. All the guys are alive again. Screw that. If they actually shut the time crystal again, I'm actually going to be pretty irritated. Don't feel like they should. And we can turn the time off in the floor down here, so we're going to go do that. Yeah, having the right goal in mind is what makes a competitive game more bearable for me. It's like, fighting games aren't as bad. It's like, the only time I get irritated in a fighting game is, like, playing a long set, or if just, like, com like continued mistakes keep happening, or, like, something really stupid happens. I was just here. Maybe I took the boat for no reason. Let's see. Oops. Hopefully that stays open. Maybe I'm supposed to just go out that way. I don't know. We'll see. Worst comes to worst, we'll just... Go back and... Open this again. It's not like we're really... Struggling for it. Yeah, it's like... If I play Hearthstone... My goal needs to be... Oh, see, the gate's locked again. This is a weird... I guess we're supposed to just open it and go down. So I'm gonna... I still want the boat to be there. So I'm actually going to... Set the time forward, and I'm gonna move the boat back down. And then I'll meet you guys back here. Okay. So we were told to free the crew. I guess that's what Phi was really emphasizing, so I guess we should do that first instead of trying to you know, go on with the dungeon. This looks like there's about to be a fight in here. I guess not. I'd rather just shoot you and not deal with you. We get a safe statue, so that's nice. Oh, Beamos! Yay! That's actually fine, though. I like when the dungeons are more puzzle-oriented and not... like, enemy-oriented, because that could be annoying. I feel like you should be able to just shoot them in the eye, and that's the end of it. I guess we'll wait. Oh yeah! <laughs> no more Beamos. I mean, we still have to deal with them, but... It's nice that we can just do that. So these guys are, yeah, around the corner. Down on the corner, out in the street. There's a party in the street, I can't remember. Like someone in the homeboys are playing. Some about a nickel and tap your feet. It was over, Anakin. I had the high ground. Oh, duties. Little dudes. You're human, aren't you? So how did you get in here? We. came with the captain to save us. Weep, I'm so happy for her. We can't get out of here while that sparky thing blocks the exit, Zert. I almost forgot to mention it, but the engine room was right below this break room. Is it gonna open now? There's a corridor from the engine room that connects to this break room. But to get through the engine room to here, you need to activate the two power generators in the engine room. So we got one. Huh. Oh hey, did you turn on one of the power generators? 
You still need to activate the other ones. There, there are two power generators. We the last power generator is here. Yeah, you can't get in there though. You can do it, fleet. I can't get in there though. That was the uh, that was the whole reason I came down here. Now oh, we already in here. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure that out, I guess. But yeah, I was talking about being goal-oriented, as my fantastic algebra teacher taught me. Was it last year? He was saying, uh, when you have problems, just set the goal, and then just kind of focus on the steps to get there, not exactly, not exactly the last step, but just kind of figure out the first step, you know? It's like, well, I need to do this. How do I do this? I have to do that. How do I do this? I need to do that, so... I don't know, it's just how I try and approach problems now, and it's been really helpful. The... Did I talk about... Okay, let's... We're gonna talk about school a little bit. Oh, Hearthstone goals, that's what it was. The, uh... I'm talking about school after. But, yeah, with Hearthstone... It's like, if the goal is to rank up on ladder, there's a lot of... Damn dog. There's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of room for screw-ups and irritation, so that's why laddering gets really bothersome sometimes. If... Gosh, how do you get in there, though? Oh, can we... Is this next level, can we snipe? Through here? No. Like, you have to get in here... Maybe we need to turn the power off. Maybe we need to go all the way back. Actually, we can just take this, right? We can go up, send it back down, cut the power, and then jump back down to this boat. That's the only thing I can really think of offhand. Yeah, if the goal is to rank up in Hearthstone, it's easy to get irritated. If the goal is to do a daily quest, much easier to not get irritated because it's like what's at stake? Nothing. Losing means nothing. Misplays set you back a little bit, but they don't mean you not know I'm gonna pick them up anyway. Mean anything, so I wonder if you I wonder if you get max distance or if you don't get max distance by doing that. Kind of stuff. Oh, can I use this? Even though there's no time, or like it's, you know, everything's dead. Cool. Okay, I think this is how we do it. And we can just go back. I was gonna say, Link, don't you dare. Alright, oh, we got it, okay. Yay! Fuck you, keys! Fuck you, keys, keys! Yeah, the, uh... Ooh. Monster Claw. I got they're just kind of in the corner. Yeah, with the... Like, the goals thing, it really helps dealing with a lot of the garbage. It's like, oh, I have to win... You know, two, three, five games or whatever, or... I have to play just... Yeah, I knew that was gonna miss. I just have to play... You know, X amount of minions or something like that. Like, those are... Completely cool to deal with, it's like, whatever. And... That's kind of how I try and... Approach Hearthstone. I usually don't try to play. Try and play, unless I have... Like, a daily I'm trying to do... Or something. I don't want to play anymore... To just ladder. As in climb ladder. As in rank up. Master, I can confirm that... The at... <laughs> I can confirm that the engine room is now fully operational. I suggest hurrying to the brig through the engine through the engine room and freeing the crew immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now... Nowhere on the ship is safe. 
And then we can run around. And then we can jump down. So that's good. I'll take arrows. I would prefer a heart, maybe, but can't get everything. And there's a lot of stools next to save points. So actually being really generous with the the ability to heal. I think there's one down here, too. You can double check. This is not... Is there a save room in here? Yeah. I think we'll go down there. But, yeah, try not to play unless there's, you know, a goal like that. Which has made it a lot easier. Uh, I don't think there's actually a stool here. Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah, so it's made life easier. And I need to not play Hunter. I'm just... I'm... Like, I know in a, a couple episodes ago, I said I was done. I think I just can't play Hunter. I am, like... I'm just so bad at Hunter. I'm bad at aggro in, like, every game. I want to be good at the kind of aggressive play. Like, in Marvel 2, I wanted to be good with MSP, but I wasn't. I, well, I was okay. I had some good resets and stuff like that, but I was way better with a more defensive team, like Santhrax, which people, some people were going to be like, oh, it's actually kind of offensive because of this and that and whatnot, but like the, the Storm Sentinel teams, I find them more defensive than Magneto teams, you know, like MSP, MSS. Like, I'm, I'm just better at those. But I guess if you want to compare it to kind of like a Hearthstone thing or just whatever, I guess the Storm Sentinel teams are more mid-range and then you get the uh, the trap teams are more of the control defensive teams. So I'm okay at the mid-range stuff in that game, but in Hearthstone, I just I suck at mid-range decks, except Combo Druid, which is considered mid-range, which I don't consider it mid-range, but... The... I guess it is kind of mid-range. I see why. But... Yeah, like... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I had to make sure on that. Like, I'm just really bad at... Like, I'm just not that good at the mid-range decks. I'm complete ass at aggro decks. And so I don't know why I shouldn't be playing them. Honestly, I'm like what I'm best at are the control decks. But I don't want to be like I'm okay being decent at the control decks, but it's not kind of what I want to do. What if I can? So what is the purpose? Oh, because you have to swing over this. So, I'm a little better at those, so I need to play those, but like, mid-range hunter, I'm just complete, I'm complete trash at mid-range hunter, and I'm not really good at shaman either, shaman's like a mid-range class, so, I didn't think we'd find this so soon, but I'm okay with it. So, oh, I need to, uh, I don't know, just get better, I need to play it more, I need to see more of it, because... The problem with like mid-range, like in a control deck, like it's the strategies are easy. Is you you kind of map out their threats. You might play around one or two cards every now and then, but you pretty much clear the board and then punch them in the face when you can, which is for the most part an easy strategy. Like there's you know some complexities like priests is supposed to somehow draw cards in the middle of that and other stuff like that, but for the most part you just you know, clear board, punch face, eventually gain so much card advantage that you just run him over later. Like, much later, like turn 15 later. And that's fine. That's completely fine, I get that. Mid-range is like, well, I could blow him out by turn 6. But if it goes to, like, turn 13, I'm still okay. And it's like, there's specific spots. Like, you have to trade on the board and stuff like that. There's specific spots where you have to, like, trade things. There's specific spots where you have to go face and try and kill them, and it's just, like, overall, I don't fully understand when those times are. Like, there'll be times where I trade too much and I lose the game. There'll be times where, okay, 
thought we could. Uh, every times where I go face, actually, can I just jump? I can just jump. Okay. Every times where you're supposed to like go face and try and kill them, and then like there are times where you're supposed to trade and try and win, but like. I don't understand what those times are, and there's specific times where I think you pretty much have to you have to whip up to the you have to whip up to that and then jump to the other one. That's what I'm assuming. And it's just I don't quite understand when to do it because there's a lot of time like a game. There's a lot of games where okay, this is a. Uh, It's kind of weird when you, like, lose your momentum to get it back. Oh, fuck, that was, that was really close. Yeah, so I just, I need to play more to learn when those times are, because there's so many times where, like, I'll go face and, you know, try and be aggressive, and it's the wrong answer. Like, it's the wrong thing to do, and I'll just lose. And there'll be times where, like, I try and trade, and it's wrong, and I lose. And I still make some pretty dumb misplays, so I'm not that good at it. But... Like, I want to play some other stuff. Like, I want to play Paladin, but I need a lot more cards. Like, I don't have Tyrion. I don't have Lay on Hands. That's already 2,000 dust. I don't have... I don't have any Quartermasters. I have one Muster for Battle, and that's, like, all the, uh... The big stuff for Paladin, so I don't have a lot of good cards for them. I only have good cards for Druid. Actually, Priest. And... Hunter. I played a shit ton of Priest. That was, like, the first class I played. Because I... My favorite classes in WoW were... Hunter and Priest. And Priest is probably the hardest deck to play. So. That was not smart. You really came to save us, Weep. My circuits are glowing with happiness. We can feel emotions. Really? You came on board to look or to find Nehru's flame, Zert. If you want to reveal Nehru's flame, you're gonna have to regain control of this ship, Weep. The control room is next to the brig. But its huge door is sealed shut, and you'll need a key to open it. First you should head to the captain's cap, Zert. Control room key should be in there. Wait. Please take this key as a thanks for rescuing us. This key will open the door to the captain's cap. I figured. There's only like one other locked door. Uh, I cut out like two minutes, right? Because my record time's at 25. I think we should be at like 23. We'll go for like another six minutes and see what happens. You can get to the captain's cap through the door on the deck. That's on the deck. That's the bow. Yep. But I'm getting out of here, Vroom. Sorry to leave you on your own. But you look like you can handle it, sir. We're counting on you, weep. <laughs> it's gotta float out of there. Alright, bye. Is it just you? Does freeing the crew count as one person? I should've looked more. Was there more of them? Freeing the crew. Oh, what? Bro. I guess we have to run back? I feel like you shouldn't. I feel like... I feel like... Pulling that lever should have opened that door. Just a shortcut back, but I guess not. Maybe there is a shortcut back and I'm not seeing it, but... Oh, well. I will meet you guys, I guess, at the captain's cabin. Oh, we're already here. So, there was a shortcut, it was just in the next room, I completely forgot we just opened it. And then we took the boat up, and then we unlocked the door. Now we're doing the stuffs. I have to cough really bad. Allergies are just in force right now, the, uh, the spring season has just kind of started. And, have I been in here? I don't think I have. There's a tree on the front lawn of the place I live at and the it doesn't even have leaves right now it just has flowers just blooming flowers all over and I'm like oh that's that's great I think we're supposed to turn off the power for the the time I bet then we can slip through but yeah it's pretty uh pretty obnoxious 
It's like, great, that's just pollen that's probably slipping in my window when I have it open. And I have my window open right now because I need to cool the room off while I record. I, used to, I usually use my fan, but I can't use the fan and play this game specifically. Can I get some arrows, please? Thank you. Oh. You need me two things. That's, I've actually never seen that in this game. Only I've ever gotten a treasure and an item like that. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna chill here. I need to start trying to get faster at that. Just to make life a little easier. Because I already know I'm going to have to be quick. I'm assuming for the boss, I need the bow because it's the dungeon item. And I'm assuming that I need to be really quick. So, we'll see. Oh. Do I want to do this? Do I want to Luigi? Oh, yep. That's worth it. Ooh. The amount of worth is actually equal to 20 rupees. We got a lot of money. We got those two silvers, that's right. Yeah, so... What was I saying? I guess I said I was going to talk about school, because I talked about Hearthstone enough. Um, oh, screw you guys. I heard a... Someone left me a comment that said I could turn off the descriptions coming back up, but... I'm not really super concerned, it just sucks like the first time you play after a bit. So I don't know. The uh we need to move. Do we put the pot on there? I'm assuming this doesn't work, but it's worth a try. Oh, we just shoot in. Okay. JK. Oh, I bet you this opens. Do you have to... The Beamos is in the way. That's interesting. Oh, I see it. Okay. I thought you were going to have to... I thought you were going to have to, like, obviously do the time thing, but then, like, shoot in from outside of this, but I didn't see where you could do it. And then... Snipe the uh, Beamos, and then turn the power back, or the, uh, the time back. Nintendo's level design, by the way. The fact that you can hit this same crystal from like 12 different spots in the not you know not quite 12 but you know when you can hit it from so many spots I have to kill you the old fashioned way there we go we all know the thrusting is difficult for me I guess we'll smash this Oh, they're both arrows? It was actually a waste. Well, you know what? Since you're alive, I'll just take you now. Yeah, so. School's weird. I mean, school is school, obviously, but. I don't have any midterms this semester, I just have a bunch of, uh. Exams. Aww. I'm actually gonna see if I can. Okay. That was mostly a test to see the generosity of the hitbox. Can I. Okay, I can't open the door. That's fine. You can open the door, break his lock. They're pretty generous on hitting them. Yeah. So, 
I don't have any midterms, I just have a shit ton of exams. And I guess you're supposed to do this a different way, but we did it this way. So let me see another time thing. That is a crazy, gnarly ass looking key. I wonder if the key... Squid carving. Intriguing suction cups. Master, I conjecture that this is the key to the control room mentioned by the crew. My memory indicates that the location of the door to the control room is marked with the X symbol. Mm-hmm. I suggest you quickly make your way to the control room. We're gonna have to do that next time. Ooh, there's money. So we're gonna save, since we're here. I'm wondering if it's a squid boss. I'm wondering if the key kind of represents the boss, but... Anyway, next time, boss. And a flame. And then whatever comes next. So I look forward to that. And I'll see you later.